Well, hello there, Minecrafters. Thanks for coming by. And guys, it's finally done. Oh man, it feels so good to say that. I'm really nervous that there's going to be bugs that even come out. We've tested this so many times, but uh, I'm really, really looking forward to watching you guys play this. Today I realized I haven't actually told the YouTube audience, you guys, about the release date. So I said, I better put out a video. And I, I apologize about that. Sometimes I forget that my Twitter audience and my YouTube audience aren't necessarily connected. By the way, if you're not following my, me on Twitter, you, you should <laughs> because I'm a lot more active over there. As you could tell with the almost dead channel that I've left and <laughs> neglected. But uh, anyway, the release date for the map Saturday, April 20th. That's this Saturday in the morning. My time zone is like New York, Toronto time. So probably when I wake up, I don't have an exact time, but it'll be around that. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to get it, play it. Really, really excited. Oh, I love this build so much. It's taken 21 months, guys. It's, uh, July 2017 is when I started it. So if you think you've been waiting a long time, I've been waiting even longer. So actually, today I realized it was, I started in 112 and I think right before 113 snapshots. So um, yeah, it's been, it's, in, it's been in production for the entire lifetime of 1.13 because 1.14 I think is coming out next week, which is a little bit disheartening because um, this is a 1.13.2 map, but hopefully I can update it. I plan on trying to update it. So anyway, I don't want to spoil t too much of anything. I'm not going to even tell you. Like in Diversity 2, I said, we're going to go to these branches. I'm not saying anything this time about that. This is for you to jump into completely blind. But I just wanted to go over a few things that you're going to need to run the map. Just so that you don't go and, I guess, break it. <laughs> but this will all be in the Planet Minecraft post. That's where I'm going to basically draw all traffic to. Or Curse Forge, it'll be on there too. Probably Minecraft forums. Anyway, um, not button I meant to press. This one right here, 1.13.2. The map doesn't work in 1.13 or 1.13.1. And it also doesn't work in 1.14. So like I said, I'm going to try to update it. But you have to run it in 1.13.2. Uh, the other thing that is required. So these are the requirements. Um, in your, where is it? It's in video settings. Here we go, 13 chunks. This is the lowest you can go, six chunks, and the map will still run. I tried to go as low as I could. That's about the lowest I could go for running uh, running commands and the sort of, I guess, where the commands take place. And then the highest I would probably go is 13. So that's what I'm recommending, six to 13. If you go with like a nine, that's a really good number. Um, that just means that you don't want to go too high because there are a lot of commands running in this map. There are, uh, we calculated there's like nearly 37,000 commands in Diversity 3. It is like intense. Now we don't have all those commands running at the same time, but I do have sometimes there's like a thousand commands running at the same time. It is really intense and the long, the higher this is out, the more... Uh, what's the word the more intensive it is on Minecraft so keeping it in that safe zone of 9 or anywhere from 6 to 13 you're gonna be fine those are the requirements to play there are a few recommendations I can make um, like for example let's see what do we have for recommendations uh, all these settings here are basically a recommendation. Keep your smooth lighting on maximum looks really good that way put your brightness up all the way don't go moody because there's probably some lighting issues. Um, it's basically kind of made for recording, good recording levels. Uh, clouds, turn your clouds off. That'll help you in some areas. And particles, put them as all. What else do I have? Oh, the resource pack. Okay, so this isn't really an issue in 1.12 or 1.13. Um, defaults what we've designed the map to look good on. Now in 1.14, they've changed the textures. I would still recommend the, I think they call it programmer art, but it's basically the the, the textures we have all um, 
all become accustomed to over the years. So everything that you see here, the regular standard classic Minecraft, that's what that's how we really want the map to look. But you can use a resource pack if you want. If you want to try it on the new one, go right ahead. I, I haven't actually played in the new one, but um, I, I think it looks really the best in this in this default one. And then, uh, oh, I uh, also have one thing here. I keep pressing the wrong button. One thing here, I have this 5,461 megabytes. That's basically six gigabytes of RAM allocated to Minecraft. Now, that could be a little bit of a stretch for some people. I know a lot of people don't have that much RAM, but I think the default's like one. Just run it a little bit more than that. Like two might work. I I'm recommending six, as close as you can get to it. And uh, the other thing is, I would recommend playing with a friend. The map's really, really, really fun with two players, three players. Four would be pushing it. I wouldn't go over that. I haven't really designed the map to go more than four players. And on one player, it's totally playable and it's really fun. It's just a little bit trickier. But um, that's pretty much all the recommendations. Everything else will be in uh, the README file when you download it and also on the website post that I link to. But uh, that's all I really wanted to tell you guys. So release date this Saturday. Oh, I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Okay, I do have a special announcement too. We are going to have a public Diversity 3 Discord server that you can join and talk to Diversity fans from all over the world. If you have Discord or if you don't, you can just download it and get it. It's totally free. Um, the map team's on there. The beta testers are on there. You can report bugs on there. I just figured it would be a lot easier than trying to, to go through forum posts and everything of talking to people. So... I'm going to post that link to the Discord server on um, Friday, I think. So a day before the map comes out, we can all uh, hook up and, and talk about how much we're excited to play. But yeah, super, super excited about this. I am, at least. I really love this map so very much. It's like it completely blows Diversity 2 away. S like, man, it totally blows it away. Mostly because I got, like, awesome... Uh, aesthetic builders this time like look at this build it's so gorgeous so everybody um, in the map team is in the description you can follow them on Twitter and uh, anything you kind of need to know for now is in the description but yeah Saturday we're gonna have the map finally out and please don't break it and then on um, uh, on Friday we're gonna have the hopefully on Friday we're gonna have the discord server so thank you guys so much for being patient and sticking by me and not unsubscribing, uh, but staying around. And uh, enjoy your Minecrafting, guys. I love you all. We'll see you next time.